<laughs> oh man, today's video is gonna be a doozy. Oh, I know, man. I'm gonna upset some YouTubers. I know. I got some friends as well, the Call of Duty community. And no hate, everybody. No hate going on there. My boy Thunder's my BFF. I know Drifter and I are gonna be hanging out at the Dallas airport, giving hannies and getting hannies. Me and T Martin are gonna find a website with our best friend and we're gonna win a bunch of money. And Merc Music, we're all gonna have a great time. Double dating me and Karina and Nancy. We're all gonna go out. We're all gonna get along. It's gonna be awesome. Korean Savage and I are gonna freaking go and visit his sick dad in the hospital and take all the Patreon money that we earned off the kids. It's gonna be awesome, boys. That's right. Woo! But dudes, I gotta keep it reals with you guys. I gotta keep it 100 as the kids say, you know what I'm saying? Man, 110% Call of Duty YouTubers. Not myself. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not lying here, man. I keep it 100. I don't do these kind of videos. I myself don't and are not a detriment to the Call of Duty community. I don't poison the game. I don't make these kind of videos, but 110% a lot of Call of Duty YouTubers for the views, for the videos, for the thumbnails, for the YouTube monies, YouTube monies, YouTube money, baby. They ruin Call of Duty 110%. I mean, like, some don't mean to, but definitely they do it. I mean, like, I don't know if they realize what they're doing. Maybe they do, maybe they don't care, but 110% Call of Duty YouTubers are a detriment and a negative to the Call of Duty community by making these kind of videos. These dipshits, right? They make these videos that draw attention to the fact of what the worst guns, best guns, most overpowered guns, and let everybody know in the Call of Duty community, hey, run these class setups, run these guns. What's the most overpowered weapon? That's right, hollow point. The most overpowered weapon in modern warfare. It's Nick with 233,000 views, top five most overpowered guns in modern warfare, best class setup. Modern warfare, gameplay brother. Modern warfare, top five class setups. The new best gun in modern warfare, 100 kills with the overpowered Odin. Oh my god, this weapon is overpowered in modern warfare. Oh my god, most disgusting class of modern warfare overpowered the most broken gun in Call of Duty. Modern warfare. Oh my god. Even your boy, Korean Savage, is getting on this. Even my boy, my BFF Thunder out here. This is the most overpowered weapon in modern warfare. I mean, come on, 402 Thunder. We boys, come on, dog. What you doing, man? Come on, man. Why are you telling these noobs the secret to the freaking game? Look at, look at Korean. I just found a Patreon with my best friend Brock and got $100,000 so I didn't have to sell my Corvette or downclass my freaking house so I can help take care of my sick dad, Savage. Specialist is insane in modern warfare. The best Modern Warfare settings and class setups. 500,000 views. Zero recoil Modern Warfare. In parentheses. Tactical nuke, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, there's Thunder. Thunder's even showing up in the first search bar. Look at this. Green Goblin. Oh my god. 348,000 views. Best gun in Modern Warfare. M4A1. Best class setup. Best assault rifle class setup in Modern Warfare. And like, yo, I'm not saying that like, you know what, people aren't going to find out what the best guns are. But if you haven't been around for a long time, man, and before YouTubers and Call of Duty YouTubers started doing this, you didn't really actually know what the best guns were. Like, of course, you see people using guns and class setups when you're playing other people in the Call of Duty, like say COD 4 back before Call of Duty commentators started providing hints and tips and the most overpowered classes and the best class setup and this gun is the most amazing. You guys got to try it. Holy crow, you guys, man. Most overpowered weapon in Call of Duty history. Before all that shit started going down, you sort of had to figure it out yourself, man. You sort of played the game. You sort of tried to figure out. You talked to you people you're playing with in the lobby when they aren't calling you and a it and all kinds of and talking trash. You ask him between that, like, hey man, what kind of gun you use? What class are you doing? And sometimes you're like, oh yeah, that's the blah, blah, blah with blah, blah, blah. And it's pretty blah, blah, blah. But nowadays, every YouTuber out here is like basically spilling the beans. And when they make these overpowered videos, they flood, they completely flood the game with those weapons. Like sure, 40%, 30% of people would have figured it out already. Like, but before Pills started making these like most overpowered, make sure you use the double barrel shotgun, the 725 is overpowered. Make sure you use that. Before these guys started making every single video in the world about that, you know what? It wasn't as prevalent as you see now, but then you get these people and they get millions and millions and millions of views and it just floods the market. Like Drifter, for example, made a video in depth. He's like the 725, oh, sorry, sorry. 
Seven, two, five. I'm trying to, you know, do my best drifter impersonation. So, you know, smash that like button, subscribe right now for Eight Thoughts doing an amazing drifter impersonation. But you get people like Seven Two Five is really a good shotgun, analytically and politically, and quite frankly, geographically and cataclysmically and transvestally, it's the best Call of Duty gun out there. So powered, you know what I'm saying? I get it. But there isn't true. There's other shotguns that are just as good. Like the R9 is actually, in my opinion, a really awesome gun. Like it's not as good or have the range of Seven Two Five, but overall. It has its positive negatives, but you know what? No one does and talks about that. So everyone just talks about, oh, you got to use the M4. There's lots of other assault rifles that are pretty much close to that. The Kilo, Kylo, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty awesome. But you know what? Then you have people talking about, use the right shield in the day. And the throwing knives is awesome. I only right shield and the shotgun. And it's really overpowered. I like using them. And then what do you see now? Dip running around with freaking ride shields. Everyone listen to these beta male YouTubers completely flooding the game with meta and completely changing the way the game would be played had, you know what, they had not made those videos in the first place. Like, I get it, right? They're YouTubers, you gotta get the clicks, gotta get the views, gotta get that YouTube money, yeah. Money, money, money. But like, you don't really need to make these videos and draw so much attention. And I know like, they really don't care. They, honest, they don't care. They don't care about the game at that much, that point, because they just want to, you know, like, quite frankly, I ain't hating. I understand, like, really honestly, whatever. You want to get a couple hundred dollars. You want to make a thousand dollars on a YouTube video. You want to get the subscribers. You want to get in the algorithms. And, like, you know, those are good videos for doing that. So you don't hate to play your eight thoughts. You hate the gizz gizz game. You don't say dog. But without a doubt, Call of Duty YouTubers, for the most part, have and will wreck the actual meta and fun of the game. Because if we get serious, they make these videos. They draw attention to things. Things that people wouldn't normally know and then all of a sudden everyone knows about it because it gets millions and zillions of views across YouTube and quite frankly even like plebs who don't even care about Call of Duty eventually just see everyone using the same gun it basically becomes the snowball effect so you know one guy uses it 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 200 and I don't know I can't count that high I got G Fuel in my brain G Fuel gave me brain cancer enter 10% discount code Call of Duty YouTubers ruin the game and they all can go pound sand so, I don't know, man. I think it's true. Call of Duty YouTubers suck, really, at the end of the day when it comes to these kind of videos. I don't like them. I don't make them. I wouldn't make them because Modern Warfare, as it is right now, already has enough issues. And quite frankly, I don't think the 725 is that overpowered, really. I just think it gets used so much because Call of Duty YouTubers are telling everybody, Oh, man, the 725 is the most overpowered Call of Duty ever gun ever made. Oh, my God, you guys got me to you. The 725 is crazy, bro. Whoa. Wacky, crazy, inflatable arms. Wacky, crazy, inflatable arms. 725 is too overpowered. 725 is too overpowered. And so everyone uses it. But, you know, it's just becomes annoying and the m4 i will agree is overpowered that gun is overused but you know what quite frankly i feel like such a peasant when i use those gun class setups i can't even use them i can't even use the 725 i can't use the m4a1 without feeling kind of greasy i feel i feel dirty i feel like a loser i'm like oh yeah i'm gonna use use those guns but anyways i feel you brother you gotta do what you gotta do to compete in the call of duty online arena but I will never make those videos because I just have to use this right here to get views. You want views, eight thoughts? You just take the arm up and you show these kids what they're dealing with. You see that? Get that in focus. You look at uh, Dr. Disrespect couldn't carry my jock strap in a suitcase. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got for you on the video done docket today. Call of Duty YouTubers ruined the game. The 725 isn't that great of a gun. It could use a nerf on the range, 110%. The range is a bit too much. If they do anything more than that, it'll ruin it. The rest of the guns don't need any nerfs. The M41 doesn't need a nerf, it needs a net code to be fixed because it's a net code that causes the game to be completely trash and takes one shot, two shot to kill somebody sometimes because the net code's totally just not registering properly and battle nonsense proved that. Other guns need a buff. M4 doesn't need a nerf. I'll tell you what needs a buff. The net code needs a buff. So, I don't know, man. You Call of Duty YouTubers are a trash. I hate you all. Hope your whole family dies. I'll be a little wreck while drinking Pepsi on the way to Wendy's to get some chili, man, because it's a low-calorie diet. Uh. <laughs> That's a Wings of Redemption reference. If you guys aren't getting it, I don't know, maybe some of you kids ain't dealt with the whole internet culture, but this alpha male boomer is. So anyways, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Boom, get the hell out of here. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe, smash the like button. Make sure to leave a comment down below. And last but not least, and most importantly, my pedigree chum to you all. Stay black. Don't hunt cracker, don't shoot, shoot, don't move, don't hurt, spring, kill, don't have to touch, don't 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 touch, we